the next project that goes into the workshop is a little Fairbanks Morse one and a half horsepower dish pan engine. Now we're gonna gonna break her down there, look at the rings and the look at the valves, seats, guides, evaluate what it needs to set it right. Well, we, and, and, and uh, you know, I, I, sometimes I tell you I don't work with a blueprint. Well, I don't, but I sure do make a lot of sketches. And, 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 and let's just walk through this. Let's just walk through this and sketch this out before we get over there on the lathe. I wanted to make this out of a piece of hex material. Okay, I got over there in the brass box and I found this piece right here. And it's if you measure across through yonder, right like that, right there, it's three quarters of an inch. That's this is what we're going to work with. So, keeping that in mind, uh, uh, let, let me just explain it to you on the get go. Uh, what I'm going to do is put a fitting in this end right here, which would be right in there, and, and then, then we're going to make a needle valve to go through there. And all of these fittings are not created equally. If you if you observe these two fittings right here, see this has got a little bitty hole and that's got a great big hole. They're they're both one eighth by a quarter inch copper pipe. I got a ferrule in there. That kind of fitting. Okay, they're not they're not the same because what you want to do is drill a hole through yonder and thread it for your needle valve coming coming in from this direction over here. We're going to do this. And, and I'm going to take the brass ferrule out and we'll put some Teflon in there so you can tighten that up and it will make you, you won't have no air leaks. Okay, but you need a long distance of threads in order to maintain the integrity, well, the straightness of it. So what you got to do is hunt, hunt one of these fittings that, this is number six drill bit. The book calls for a number seven on a quarter 20 thread but if you drill it the size bigger it's a lot easier to thread especially on this brace that's what we're going to do that's number six we're going to drill it through yonder we're going to thread that okay this piece right here then will go in the end of this hex bar we're going to put it in there we're going to thread this right here it's a quarter 27 the thread on it and it's an mpt NPT thread. We're gonna do that. Just don't, just don't take notes. Just, just follow along here as we go. Okay. And this one right here, we're gonna put in the bottom. Down here where this is soldered in there, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna thread that and put that up in the bottom. Okay. Keeping all that in mind. Okay. Let's let's just, just draw it out here. You know, looking at it right like this. Okay. And what we what we have to have. Okay, so you gotta measure how much distance you need on that thread and still have some room around it. So I, I look just looking at it here straight down, it's half inch. Okay, keeping that in mind and just visualize it, it's gonna be cut out of this piece of brush, but we gotta have a blueprint. So so okay, and I'm gonna draw in a cut away you know you know side view. But we gotta have some figures to work with. Okay, from right here to right here, let's make that one half inch. This distance right across here. And, and but the reason for that is it will give us a good amount of flat to drill to right there. And, and, and it won't be out of line according to the original. This is the original one right here, factory. So that's not hardly a quarter, but if it was, it would be okay. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's that's a uh, half inch I'm talking about, not not a quarter a half. Don't rub rub that quarter out and pencil in a half. Don't get it wrong. Okay, and and just visualizing this right here, we're 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 going to drill in here now. There's going to be some more to it, but that will be this fitting right here is going to go in the end of that. Keeping that in mind, that means that this piece right here on the end that has to be large enough. So that when we thread that, we'll have the same integrity over here as we was uh, striving for over here. Okay. Keeping that in mind, we're going to drill and thread that. We'll go right there. So this this protrusion right here, which you got to have that because that, this little thing right here fits on that. So you got to keep that in there. I mean, if you want it to look good and be right and work, this this right here is. This is going to be good. 
and we're gonna get it on the mill on the grizzly lathe and and work it on out it won't be a couple of videos i'm sure okay now looking at this thing right here keep it in mind that we got to have this little snout right here this thing right here goes in there and that's a taper and if you put this thing up in the carburetor and you look down in that hole right here if you was here with me looking down in there just visualize it you you can see the little tint on that this little thing right here you can see it just barely when the air comes by that it just sucks it right off of there that, that that's the way that works it's just uh a vacuum it, when it comes by there the there there is a technical word for that okay now we what we want to do is restrict that so looking at it here in in person this little thing coming right out there in, in order to get it in there this length right here needs to be three quarters of an inch okay that's this part right here the that's the straight part that's the total length right here keep that in mind that's three quarters of an inch right here this distance right here keep that in mind okay we have to know how big to turn this round part here so it'll fit in that hole right there okay if you measure that put that ruler across through you know, like that it, this is a good ruler right here too let, let, let me let me take you on the side trip y'all y'all see this ruler it's got big numbers here that uh, like 16th and an eighth that's a good idea and then on this side it's got a 32nd and a 64 that's a great idea right there I mean when you get down there trying to see them 64s it's pretty much useless but they're there you and you can work with them sometimes you know on a good day but anyways today we're going to go with this right here and and okay see there's not a number that lines up right there so you couldn't you couldn't use that eighth inch size up there you can't use that to measure that hole oh yeah y'all gonna learn something now okay if you come right over here see that seven on the 16th side it lines up perfectly so uh, immediately you know that that needs to be seven sixteenths long I'm sorry seven sixteenths around right here seven that's the way you write that down seven sixteenths around this way because we we're going to work with this blueprint when we get to the when we get over on that grizzly lathe and that's a pretty good lathe too uh we're going to we're going to work with these figures right here and i didn't measure some i left something out we need to know how big this is uh don't let me forget something leave a comment okay that outside part there is exactly one half inch right here around this part we're going to turn that that's one half and we need to know the distance i mean just something to work with how how, how deep it was originally and it's one eighth of an inch see that lines up so you would need that eighth inch size but you also can measure it over here on the 16th size two sixteenths you know immediately that's an eighth it, this is not going to be on the test until when you out there in your shop and you working on this you're going to need to know this stuff right here okay we've got that okay let's just pencil that in uh, so we have a working figure that's one eighth of an inch deep now uh, the taper on here and i would like to put that taper back on there but it's, it's actually not 100 percent required but i'm going to put that back on there okay so uh if you tighten that up there like it was measuring from the seat out to where the taper starts is a half an inch okay so I know coming out this way that I have to I have to have a half an inch from here to here okay that's how you write that down one half and that's that distance right there okay the the total length of the thing is three quarters so uh what I, what i'll do in the lathe over there i'll measure from this seat right here out one half inch and then i'll just turn it down to a pleasing taper uh, you know you can if you want to you can figure degrees on that there but i'm not going to do it i'm just going to turn that down to where it looks about like this and whatever it is is what it'll be and i think we'll have success with it